How's it going, Scorpio? I hope everybody's having an amazing day. We are going to get right into your reading. This is the messages that Spirit has for you. Take what resonates, who needs to hear it the most. Always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. And stick around to the very end. Not only am I going to pull from multiple decks to make it as personal as possible, Scorpio, but at the end, I'm going to ask you to channel in a question towards me that you may be seeking clarity um, and guidance on. And I'm going to pull a message from my, um, my angel's oracle deck. Okay? As stated before, most of you know, I'm giving away two free personal love readings for the month of August. So if you are new, I'm so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. New and returning subscribers, go ahead and leave the word giveaway down below. Also, I want to make you aware, a few people have said to me they're not get a, getting notifications anymore of the readings that I post. You may need to unsubscribe and then resubscribe and tap that, tap that little bell there within the subscribe um, you know, within the subscribe part to get notifications. I don't know what happens through YouTube that some, you know, sometimes things fall through the crack. So go ahead and do that if you're not getting the notifications, but leave the word giveaway. At the end of the month, I will randomly choose those two people and we are reaching the end of the month. So those that participate next weekend, I'm gonna remind all of you to pay attention to your notifications. Like I said, two people will be hearing from me. All right, Scorpio, let's see what Spirit has for you. Try to clear your mind listening to this reading. Take that deep breath. Think about what you're asking for clarity or guidance on or what you may be wondering. Let's see what has come out. A few have. It says now is not the right time. We do have Virgo energy. We have Scorpio energy. And we also have Pisces with us. Guardian of the wilderness. Breakthrough coming within the winter. It may, I'm really drawn to the green within her dress. It could be in terms of finances and money. It could be in terms of the heart chakra, in terms of relationships and love. As the patron of nature lovers, I will protect your wilderness adventures and efforts to conserve nature. For those of you that are nature people, the eagle, automatically I feel air energy. I feel all knowing. I feel something coming something being exposed, like some form of clarity. Some form of freedom that this clarity gives you. Keeper of wisdom and inspiration. Moving on to something better. I give wisdom to solve complicated problems and help you find solutions for challenging predicaments. So Archangel Orophiel and Archangel Uriel. One of the Archangels I always meditate to. 29, Archangel Jeremiel, look for a sign. So we have 11 here. We have 27, 29, but 11, 7, 8, 9. 9 breaks down to 3, 3, 3. So we have four threes right here. Angel of symbols and wisdom. When you feel stuck and need guidance, ask me for dreams to give you clarity on what course of action to take. There's a lot of meditation on YouTube that will connect you with your spirit guides at night. Just put, like I said, put your earbuds in at night when you're calm. When you have a chance to be alone and connect with your spirit guides. And Archangel Hadriel. Hold the line. Something is not, this is not the moment for it to happen, but it, it, the breakthrough is coming. Enlightenment. I will help awaken the three ascension attitudes within you. Love, gratitude, and surrendering. All right, let's get deeper. Yeah, I feel a breakthrough coming. I feel a brand new chapter where, where things might have feel like a burden on you. I feel that cycle is closing. of pentacles did i not say a breakthrough so stability right support increased finances possibly an offer coming in in terms of your work or your career 
um, an opportunity possibly coming in terms of love, um, which would lead to a stable romance. This is, could be a big purchase that you're making that will increase, you know, stock, uh, land, something that will bring in long-term success. Not that stocks do all the time. I know somebody's going to correct me. Not that stocks do all the time, but we take chances with everything else. Investing has the, the potential for long term. Page of Wands, you are taking a leap of faith. It's almost like you have your eye in a certain direction. You may not have initially made the plan to follow what you have your eye on, but I see you falling in love with this plan. I see it becoming very magical for you. Ace of Swords, you have two aces already. Scorpio, this is the best breakthrough of all. With an amethyst energy, it's Archangel Michael coming through with protection, with healing, with longevity again. Long term. Honesty, clarity, success. Queen of Swords. Making a head over heart decision. Remember I said with the eagle, air energy I was picking up on, you could be dealing with an air sign. There's a, It could be an air sign coming towards you for those of you that are completely single. But there's someone around you that's coming towards you with an offer. Yeah, look at this. Five of swords in reverse. Every other card is upright. What does the five of swords in reverse mean? It means making an amends. It's meaning wanting to talk, you know, have a conversation with someone, um, get deeper with the person. For those of you that are, are at a distance from someone or, you know, you just, you had a fight, you had a disagreement, it's, it's like cut off communication, making that amends. And for those of you that it's newer, remember, now's not the time, but the opportunity is coming. Could even be in terms of a coworker making an amends with a coworker. Someone coming towards you wanting to go into business with you. Remember, the sleep of faith that you're taking, you're falling in love with that direction that you're moving towards. You can fall in love with a job you can fall in love with relocating you can fall in love you know with many different things that don't, you know oh look at that king of cups the devil all right we will clarify the lovers the lovers with the ace of swords. Seven of pentacles with independence. Queen of swords. It's like multiple doors of opportunity are opening up for you, Scorpio. Yes, everything that you have manifested is coming to fruition. Where you felt defeated. Where you felt like you needed to surrender to what was. You know, what happened. What was caused disappointment in your life. What felt like a burden. Remember in the beginning when I went by the burdens becoming lighter. You're coming out of that cycle. These blessings that you're manifesting. It's like the opportunity is coming your way and it feels so magical. The element of magic. Let's see what else. I do have multiple threes here, guys. It's lovers is a six. Break it down, three, three. Remember the nine, three, three, three. We have a three there. I'm intrigued. I want to know why the devil is here. Spirit, why is the devil here? Thank you for Scorpio's reading. Page of Swords. I have to say, I feel someone's watching from afar, someone who wants to make that amends. Someone who is just hasn't been able to let go of, to let go of you. And I have, I feel you were very loving, very comforting, very nurturing to this person. Whether they, you know, whether 
all different types of relationships. So you know that it doesn't have to always be about romance. But I feel um, with Paige, it could even be a child. But I feel you showed up in this person's life. And whether they took it for granted or they just were not in the best energy to accept what you were putting towards them, the opportunity is coming. And Twin Flame is at the bottom of the deck as I'm shuffling. So, guys, like I said, general reading. Spirit is coming through with many messages. Take it how it resonates. I just lost the cards as I was shuffling. It flipped out of my hands. And I feel like that was synchronistic with the way I lost control of the cards. It's like cards, it's like, you know, you and someone lost control, lost touch with what was important, with the connection. Let's see. And it's weighing on you like a burden. Two of Pentacles. There is a negotiation. There is balance coming. The Hierophant in reverse. I feel you being in distance from someone is a very hard lesson for them. It was, it's almost like it forced this person to, you know, really see how they show up in relationships. I feel like someone's becoming very awakened that you are a wish fulfillment. Yeah, look, someone feels like you are a missed opportunity. I feel like this person was distracted by other things. They had things going on in their life. Six of Pentacles, yes. In reverse, the Ace of Cups, upright. And the Page of Pentacles, yeah. There is a connection that you are in distance from, Scorpio. And this person legitimately feels like you are the one that got away. They're having a hard time getting over this. As I stated, they are coming towards you to make an amends. <clears throat> but to be honest... I feel it's an apology. I feel like they want to open up and give you that clarity that, of why things happened the way they did. But I also feel that you're going to be open to receive what they have to say. With the magician, there's some part of you, even if you're still annoyed or angry with the person of you know what has had over what has happened, is there's still some part of you that wants to communicate with them, wants to get through the barrier. Yeah, see what I mean. This is someone who is lacking direction in their own life with the Empress in reverse. All right, let's see what else we can get for you, Scorpio. With the map here, remember when I said like purchasing a home or purchasing something that's got long-term um long-term blessings with it maybe even buying a vacation home if i really feel some big and it's another three some big adventure awaits you i also feel that you are moving exactly in the direction that you're meant for all of these rainbow blessings another nine Multiple threes, multiple nines, guys. Look up the spiritual meaning with, uh, within those. All the good things. All the blessings. And I know some people are going to say a boat is not a blessing. It's an expense. But just, you know, it's, it's just the path that you're moving in the right direction. Being able to, you know, take a moment to love yourself, enjoy all the good things that you want. Maybe it's having Amazon delivered to your home every day and that's what makes you happy. Maybe it's hanging out with the guys and, you know, going on a weekend trip, but being able to afford that weekend trip. You know what I mean? Having that job, being able to afford the weekend trip, being, having a job that's able to give you vacation time and, and personal time. These are all things that we should create. We should think of as a blessing. 
Sometimes we get so used to our routine that we don't see the magic in each and every day. There is something that you're manifesting that you're wishing on a star for and it's coming to fruition. So for some of you, the change is coming very soon, right? For others of you, it, spirit is coming through saying not now, but the opportunity is coming. So take it how it resonates, how, how it may be much newer for some of you than others. But I do feel someone who wants to make an amends with you. Look at all that golden light. 35, divine portal. Fulfill your destiny. Be all that you can be. All right, go ahead and channel that question to me, Scorpio. Go ahead and channel that question towards me. It says wait, which definitely goes with the guidance of these cards. All right, spirit, one more answer to the questions that Scorpio, my Scorpios are sending me. Get more information. Wait and get more information. I feel like Spirit's saying, before rushing into anything, you know, read between the lines. Give yourself some time for a lesson, for, for some knowledge on why things happened the way they did. Um, for With the Ace of Pentacles here, there may be a job opportunity or some form of opening, some form of breakthrough coming your way. And before reacting, Spirit is saying, read between the dotted lines before signing any papers, any contracts. Make sure you're well educated before moving down that path, right? No need to rush down it. Take your time. Baby steps will get you there. All right. And for this person coming towards you that I feel wants to make an amends and open up communication with you, it's nothing you need to respond to automatically. And to be honest, and I feel like you know this with the super moon that we just passed. I had stated we have multiple super full moons following each other from month to month. So um, August, September, October, it's a very rare event. So with that energy, things are going to be feeling very intense within the next few months. Take a step back and think things out before responding. All right. E, F. V, R, T, I, D. All right, Scorpio, let me know how it resonates. Go ahead and leave the word giveaway down below. Anytime you want me to tune into just your energy, click on the link that takes you right over to my Etsy shop. It's in the description box. There is a Labor Day sale going on. It's going to go through up until Labor Day, maybe a couple days after, um, as long as I don't get overwhelmed with the amount of readings that come through. I am currently running throughout the turnaround time that I have for each reading, but for those of you that make a purchase, do pay attention to the turnaround time. All right, so much love and light, guys.